Well, here we are at the Andrew Uni Stadium for Knockout Cup action. Yes, it's down to the serious business as the White Link Warriors take on the Devils of Plymouth. Two legs to decide who will go through to the next round, the first tonight, and then in 24 hours' time down in deepest, darkest Devon. So, will it be the Warriors or will it be the Devils? We'll find out very shortly, but before we do, let's go and join Andy Haig, who's got a few interviews down in pits. Who you got, Andy? Chris, Plymouth tonight. They've had quite a few matches. We've been there. Now we're back on home shell. What do you think it's going to be like? Uh, I think it's going to be a lot different to uh, the other Friday at Plymouth. You know, uh, we'd not been down there for a long while. Um, so it was just a case of uh, gauge the setup, a, t a tester meeting, really. Um, so, uh, you know, hopefully then coming to our place, they've got a couple of couple of strong riders. Obviously, Benji rode here last year for a, for a part way. Um, and Steve's obviously very good round here. So hopefully uh, we, 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 we can just take points off the, the lower end riders in their team and hopefully get a win. Now, of course, last week after Bryn's meeting, you've travelled to Stoke on Monday for a practice. Uh, what happened up there? Yeah, just uh, weren't really happy with the engine that we ran here last week. Um, I think I only scored about four, um, and I didn't have the same speed at the starts and out the bends as what I normally have. So, uh, yeah, just tried an engine, um, and I was very, very pleased with it. So, uh, you know, re really confident in, uh, in going into tonight's meeting. So you're going to use that engine tonight, is that yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We um, it's in in the bike ready to go, and it's exactly how it was on Monday. Um, and yeah, we're just. Uh, I mean, I've 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 got a couple more if if, if this one's not up to it. But uh, I've I've got no doubts that it's not. Now, for those those people, the supporters that haven't been to Stoke, how much different is the Stoke track to the Isle of Wight, and what would you have to change with the engine? Obviously sent out for Stoke to come into the Isle of Wight, which is a big track. Um, well, that's that, that's what I thought the engine last week was going to do, is I set it a little uh, a little bit different to what I, what, what I normally do for, for, for other tracks around here to try and get a little bit more speed. Worked against us. Um, so, uh, you know, the, the, this one is similar to one that I ran here last year, which uh, evidently had, had a lot of speed in it. It's just mainly the gearing that we've got to change, uh, the jetting in the car better. Um, but uh, hopefully we can we, we, we can get it in the dirt. I mean Stoke Stoke's a reasonable size track. It's quite it's quite tight for for how long the straights are. Uh, but th there was a, a lot of pace going into the bends, which is always a good sign for when you come into a track this long. And we believe you've got quite a lot of good help off track as well, Chris. Tell us a little bit about those people that are helping you at the moment. Yeah, it's been one of the be best winters for picking up sponsors this year. You know, I've picked up um, one one down the Isle of Wight, uh, White's Sweet Snack, uh, and he's helped me out really well. Um, and I've had a, a few others come on board as well uh, with the help of Maximus Racing too. So, yeah, hopefully we can pick a couple more in the in, in, in the next month or two. So you're now lining up tonight, like we said, against uh, Plymouth, but you've also got your old uh, teammate Lee Smart in the team for them as well, who's come back to the uh, Small Book Stadium. So what's it going to be like lining up against Lee? Well, I think he let me beat <laughs> he, he let me beat him last year, uh, but no, I mean it's uh, me, me and Lee had a had a couple of good races here before I came to the to, to the Warriors last year. So hopefully, um, you know, uh, we, we 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 can have a couple of good races and it works out in my favour. Good stuff. We'll have a great meeting. Stay safe, ride fast. Thank you. Cheers, Henry. How are you looking forward to riding the small brick track? Yeah, I'm looking really forward. I came last year and did a bit of practice over the winter. Really enjoyed it. It's fast track. And I like fast track, so hopefully we can have a good one today. Now you spent last year sort of in the Midland Development League with Coventry Storm. Has that prepared you for the National League? You've had a few meetings so far. How did that prepare you? Yeah, that was a really good experience. I was with Lawrence all year and just getting the time on different tracks, working with boys. I did a few of the Coventry Storm meetings with the actual National League squad, so that was really good. But no, it went really well last year. I think just that set me up for the National League this year. Okay, so you've had a few meetings already. How's it all going for you? Yeah, it's going all right. I'm scoring a few points now and again, but obviously it's going to be a tough against other teams. But I think we started off well, but we'll get quicker and quicker throughout the season. Good. So all looking good then. So you're set up well for tonight. You're over nice and early. And uh, there we go. You're going to try and take on the Warriors. Yeah, it should be a good battle. It's fast out there, so ride safe, ride fast, and we'll see you at the end of the night. Will do. Thank you.
We look at the Devils Festival. Steve Boxall at number one, vastly experienced rider, out and out number one probably in this league. Richard Andrews at two. Number three, Lee Smart, former Warrior. Number four, Callum Walker knows the fast way around this circuit. Number four, Mark Warrior at number five is Benji Compton. Rob Parker comes in at six and keep an eye on this youngster at number seven, Henry Atkinson. On to the Warriors, Ben Wilson rides at number one. Right of replacement for Tyler Govia, who was injured last week. James Cockle, the skipper, at number three. Chris Whitman is at number four. Nathan Greaves at five. James Seeley at six. Adrian Spooner at seven and Rob Watts at number eight. That's your two teams. So the referee today is Barbara Hawley. She's calling the riders into line for the opening heat. As we take a look across the grid here in the red helmet for the home side, Ben Wilson, rider replacement in blue. It's the number eight, Rob Watts. Steve Boxall is in the white helmet for the visitors vast experience rider ridden for glasgow and right house in the premier league or almost rode for bellevue last year but lost his spot at the last minute richard andrews the rider in yellow row for eastbourne in the past so that's how they line up then for heat number one the starting marshal chris cass calling them into place So here we go then, Jason Weir in the sponsors of heat number one, green lights on. And away they go in the charge for the first turn. And it's Boxall who's got the start there. Boxall in front moves, Wilson out of the way. Wilson trying to cut back up the inside as he go down the back straight. Steve Boxall leading away here. Ben Wilson for the Warriors chasing hard in second place. But Boxall having none of it at the moment. It's come round this first and second turn. Boxall right out in the dirt line here, looking very, very fast. Wilson in second place, Richard Andrews in third place. Rob Watts, the number eight, giving the nudge here in the opening heat. He's at the back. So it looks like it's going to be a heat advantage to the Devils here in the opening race. Around the bottom turn, Boxall where he's been since the takes rose out in front. Looking very, very comfortable as well. Loves it down in Devon. Ridden for Plymouth before, of course. Also rode for Kent in there. First season back in Speedway. And he's taken three points here in heat number one. So good win there for the visitors. Number one, Steve Boxall. He takes three points. Two points there go to Ben Wilson for the Warriors. One for Richard Andrews in yellow. Two to the Warriors, four to the Devils. 71 seconds of winning time there for Steve Boxall. And uh, very, very comfortable as well. So the riders coming onto the circuit for heat number two. And it's Jamie Seeley riding in red. Alex Spooner, the guest rider, is the rider in blue. Rob Parker in white. Henry Atkins is the rider in yellow. Heard a lot of things about Atkins, this young man. Interesting to see how he takes to this big open raceway here on the island. Although he does understand do a bit of grass tracking, so he should be okay on it. But uh, Plymouth, one of the smallest, if not the smallest in the country. This the biggest. So here we go then. And away they go. And if you wonder why Spooner started 15 minute meters back, he was actually uh, disqualified for the time allowance. So no real surprise that he's at the back, but out in front it is young master Atkins leading the way. Second place at the moment, Jamie Seeley. And Spooner making a bit of ground up here on Rob Parker. Seeley giving it a go though, trying to find a way around the outside of Atkins out in front here. Spooner's made up a little bit of ground here. He's going up in the dirt line and it looks like he's going after Parker down the home straight there. The door shut very firmly in his face there. But it is Atkin in front and here comes Spooner now and he's screwing it on around the outside. He just cannot find a way through at the moment. The Devils on another heat advantage here in heat number two. But here comes Spooner and he's trying the run now. 
And he's almost squeezed out once again there by Parker. And now he's going to give it a big blast. And this time he goes round the outside. So Spooner through into second place. Third place, I should say. Second place, it is his teammate, Jamie Seeley. But it is Henry Atkins who's won heat number two. The Devils winning the first two heats here. Three points apiece. That one is shared, though. That means there's still two points separating sides. It's five to the Warriors. It is seven to the Devils. So the riders coming on to the circuit then for heat number three. James Cockle riding in red. Chris Whitman is the rider in blue. They're the home pairing for the visitors. Former Warrior in white, Lee Smart. He was here last year. And in yellow, Callum Walker. That's how they line up then. Lots of changes down in Devon. They were in the Premier League last year. They dropped into the National League this year to keep the sport in Devon down at the St Boniface Arena. So, needs must. Welcome, they are indeed. The Warriors, of course, formerly the Islanders, were in the Premier League up to 2010. Four drop into the National League and then... Uh, disappearing off the race calendar for a couple of years but they've worked tirelessly hard to get Speedway back here and they've done it very very nicely so here we go then Cockle and Whitman Smart and Walker this is heat number three and a bit of a ragged start there but it is Cockle who's got away and Whitman has gone with him here coming round the outside it is Walker in the yellow helmet into second place at the back Lee Smart Walker going up the bank in here and he's keeping Cockle honest here in this one. Go around that first and second turn. Cockle leading the way. Second place there and it's still Walker. Whitman hanging on to third place. Lee Smart somewhat surprisingly at the back. The riders quite well spread out. But the home fans won't mind this because this will pull them back level important to build up a lead to take down to Devon tomorrow and I think realistically you're looking at a dozen the way it is at the moment that's uh, maybe a big ask Cockle in front still in second place Walker third place it is Whitman but Cockle is going to be the first warrior to register a win here in heat number three so the Cobra garage at Mahal will be happy with that one because uh, they sponsor that one and James Cockle has duly won it for the home side who take the heat by four points to two that means it's the Warriors on nine the Devils on nine so we move on to heat number four Nathan Greaves is in red Alex Spooner is in blue didn't have the best of starts got uh, excluded in heat number two under the two minute rule had to start 15 metres back in the white helmet another former warrior in Benji Compton and in yellow is Henry Atkins that's how they line up then for this race the 4 for 15 so Spooner it is holding up proceedings here but he comes to the line he's off the gate number 2 this time Greaves is on the outside Compton there on gate number three they are surely going to be the two to watch although uh, Henry Atkins looked pretty good first time out so here we go green lights on and away they go and a charge for the first that's an interesting one there are problems there for Spooner who got picked up there by Atkins going in and he looks in some discomfort there and well a very awkward looking tumble for Spooner there the paramedics out there very quickly let's hope the young man is okay really don't want to see anyone injured let's have a look at it again here it's going to the corner oh he does go down very hard he doesn't get away from that machine his leg hooked under it there and that's a painful one for the young man And, well, it's going to be a ride back to the pits in the ambulance. 
And he has been excluded by the referee, Barbara Hawley, there. So we're going to have a restart with three riders only. Well, not quite sure why that wasn't an unsatisfactory start. Clearly got his uh, front wheel taken away from him going into the corner. But it is three riders only, so the Warriors won't take the lead in this one unless one of those two in the white and yellow helmets don't finish. So Greaves on the outside. Compton there on gate number three. Nobody on gate number two, so Compton's going to have a good easy run to the first turn and in yellow Henry Atkins who was a winner of heat number two here we go green lights on and away they go and it looks like Greaves has got away from the outside he's got across the front of Compton there so Nathan Greaves in front and he's already opened up a sizable lead Compton in second place Atkins there in third place good enough for the Devils because the Warriors won't go in front if those two finish behind him. It's around the first and second turn down the back straight. Leading the way, looking comfortable at the moment. Nathan Greaves for the Warriors. Well, he struggled in the Vicks Mapley Memorial meeting. The first one of the season looked better last week in the Bryn Williams celebration. But he's looking immaculate here in heat number four of this Knockout Cup tie. It's Greaves in front. There's round that first and second turn. Second place at the moment, still Benji Compton. Third place, it is Henry Atkins. And uh, it's going to be a shared heat, no doubt about it. Some glory here for the home fans. And it is Greaves who wins it in a time of 70.9, the fastest one of the evening so far. But it's three to the Warriors, three to the Devils. We are all square after four heats at 12 apiece. So the riders on the circuit then for heat number five. And it is James Cockle and Chris Widman for the Warriors. Steve Box will win a first time out for the visitors is in the white helmet. And Richard Andrews is in yellow. Well, both of these pairings picked up the 4-2 advantage first time out. What is going to happen in this one here? Starting Marshall waiting patiently for the uh, rider in white. Steve Boxall to have a dig around. Very talented rider, Boxall, but he's had a lot of injuries. Certainly enjoying himself down in the colour of the Devils. won the uh, National League Riders Championship well riding for Kent Benji Compton another winner of that competition as well so here we go then the starting marshal happy the riders are in line the green lights about to come on and the charge for the first turn and Boxall has got a flyer from the outside Boxall in front Cockle chasing hard in second place former teammates at Rye House Cockle it is in the red helmet for the Warriors but Boxall blasting round the dirt line here and he's already opened up a big lead spectacular style tip for big things in the sport until those injuries have happened Whitman there in third place at the back here Richard Andrews can do nothing and once again the uh, riders quite well spread out here and there is Steve Boxall in the white helmet looking for his second race win of the night and already looking like it's going to take something very special to beat him here Cockle in second place third place it is Widman so we're looking at a shared heat and uh, Steve 
Boxall just sweeping them away. He wins heat number five. Second place there goes to James Cockle. And third place goes to Whitman. So we are still level at 15 apiece because that one split three apiece. 69.9, the fastest time of the night, now goes to Steve Boxall. Straight on to heat number six, Ben Wilson riding in red. The right of replacement riding blue goes to Jamie Seeley. Benji Compton is in white. And the rider in yellow is Rob Parker. And the news on Alex Spooner is not so good. He has been withdrawn from the meeting. I saw him come down at the start of heat number four. So his night is over. But let's see how this one's going to go. This is heat number six. Oh, it's a super start there for Ben Wilson. Wilson and is in front. Seal is in third place at the moment. Second place in white. It is Benji Compton. Parker left at the start there. Let's go around the bottom turn. Parker now going to right up the bank in and chase after young Seely. But out in front. It is Ben Wilson leading the way. There is Compton in second place. Compton, of course, uh, as we said earlier, former National League Riders champion. Brother of Andre Compton, who rode for Sheffield and Newcastle. There's Seely in third place. There is Parker at the back. So the Warriors, if it stays like this, will go in front for the first time of the night. There is Wilson. Well, well, clear. Second place, it is Compton. This is surely how they will finish. And it is Ben Wilson who takes the win there in heat number six. Second place goes to Benji Compton. Third place now goes to Ryder in blue, James Seeley. So that is four to the Warriors. It is two to the Devils, as the scores on the doors. 19 to the Isle of Wight, 17 to Plymouth, 71 4, not particularly fast time for Benji Compton, but he won't mind, he won it at ease. So the riders coming on to the circuit for the seventh race. Nathan Greaves riding in red, James Seeley in blue, Lee Smart is in white, Callum Walker the rider in yellow. Well, Greaves looked a superstar first time out, Walker looked good for his second place. Lee Smart didn't score and James Seeley coming out for his third ride here so far has scored just three points I guess that's all really you can expect from a youngster being chucked in at the deep end starting marshal Chris Cass calling him into place here to get this seventh race underway And away they go. And the charge for the first turn. And it is Greaves who's got away there. But coming around the outside is Walker. What a pass from Walker. Where did that come from? Greaves looked like he had it in the bag. But Callum Walker just flew past him. As if his chains had come off. Smart is in third place at the back. It is Seely. But Callum Walker. What a ride from the youngster. Goes into the bottom turn. Greaves is going after him there. He was really caught thinking. Now he's going out in the dirt line trying to find a way past. But it's Walker in front and now we've got a race on our hands. Here comes Greaves. Really giving it some welly as he goes right out wide there. Walker gives him room if he's got the dare. And it looks like he has. He's going up the banking. And he's blasting for it here. Walker is still holding on though. Super race. Around the first and second turn, oh, Greaves almost overcooked it there. And that has allowed Walker to get away. Now Greaves will switch to the inside, but Walker's got the line, he's got the speed. And he has got the three points. Super win there for Callum Walker. Second place goes to Nathan Greaves and third place there to Lee Smart. So a 4-2 to the Devils. And you guessed it, we are all level once again because it's the Isle of Wight on 21, 
and Plymouth on 21, but we've waited a long time for a decent race. So we move on then to heat number eight. Rider replacement in red, it's Chris Whitman. Reserve replacement in blue, replace the unfortunate Alex Spooner is Jamie Seeley. Richard Andrews rides in red, the skipper of the Devils, and Henry Atkins is the rider in blue. So strong looking line up here for the visitors. Can Whitman make one of his renowned starts here? He's going to have to work very, very hard to keep the Devils at bay. Here we go. And away they go, and it is Whitman who's got away. Whitman and he's in front. Oh, look at this here. It's Atkins coming up on the inside. He moves Whitman out the way here. Andrews is going to come up the inside as well to go into the bottom turn. And that was ruthless speedway from the youngster. So Atkins it is in front here. And here comes Whitman. Can he find a way up on the inside? He almost goes into the back of Andrews there. Andrews shuts the door on him as they go down the back straight. And now Whitman will switch and try the inside. There's a good race going on for second place. But it is the young Tiger, Henry Atkins, out in front, leading the way for the Devils. It's round the first and second turn. And he was ruthless on Whitman in that first turn. Second place at the moment. It is Andrews who will shepherd him. And Whitman's gone wide there and he's slowing. And, uh, well, Seely is at the back here. But it is going to get... The Devils a big 5-1 here in heat number 8. Around the bottom turn and it is Henry Atkins who is going to win this one. And that is a super win for the youngster. Takes him on to 7, paid 8. Unbelievable. Second place goes to Richard Andrews and third place there to Chris Whitman. But that is a big 5-1 to the visitors. And they go back in front by 22 points to 26. But some good speedway in the last couple of races and some ruthless riding by Master Atkins. So we're going to the second half of tonight's meeting. Riding in the red helmet, it is James Cockle. In the blue helmet, it is Chris Whitman. In the white helmet, it is Benji Compton. And in the yellow helmet here, it is Rob Parker. That's how they line up then for heat number nine. Compton so far has picked up four points. Cockle so far has picked up five points. Whitman has struggled for points. He's on three. And, uh, well, Rob Parker, he hasn't scored yet. But he's certainly been in the mix. Let's see how this one's going to go. This is heat number nine. And away they go. Oh, Cockle there has got a flyer. Cockle is in front. Compton there in second place. Whitman trying to find a way through on the inside, but it's Parker who holds that third place. Let's go down the back straight into the bottom turn. Whitman trying to get up the inside of Parker here as they come off turn number four there, and Whitman's gone past the youngster. But out in front, it is James Cockle leading the way. Compton chasing hard in second place. Goes into the turn there, goes up the banking, tries to switch back. But Cockle it is keeping him true here in this one here. Right out to the fence here, spectacular stuff from James Cockle. And Compton's getting close, he's going to try the inside here. Can he find a way through here? Cockle on the outside, Compton on the inside. Look at this here, side by side. Around the first and second turn here. And Compton is really giving it a go. Cockle still hanging on there. They go into the bottom turn. Whitman is third place. And problems there for Compton who's gone down. Compton is down. The red light's coming on very, very quick there. Benji Compton, the faller. And he looks like he's in some discomfort. Let's hope he's okay. And uh, Rob Parker going to check on his fallen teammate here. That really was very, very unfortunate. Let's have a look at it as they go in. Oh, he loses it going in there. He goes down on that knee. And Whitman getting awarded the second place in that. But let's move on then to heat number 10. Ben Wilson rides in red. Rob Watts takes the rider replacement ride in blue. Lee Smart is in white. 
and the spectacular Callum Walker is the rider in yellow that's how they line up then for this race starting Marshall making sure the riders are in line here and it is Lee Smart this time on the outside we've got Ben Wilson next him in the red helmet and away they go and it's Wilson who's got away Wilson and Ez leading the way there Smart in second place and Walker comes into third place Rob Watts not surprisingly left at the start here coming up with some of the big hitters but it is Ben Wilson in front Lee Smart hasn't done a lot in this meeting so far but he's there in second place third place it is Walker so if it stays like this the scores will remain level and that will suit Plymouth the Isle of Wight of course losing uh, Alex Spooner the reserve does not help their cause means the rookies in Watts and Seeley are having to take extra rides and there is Ben Wilson doing his part it's around the first and second turn second place quite a way back is Lee Smart third place it is Callum Walker you can see the distance between first and second there and it is Wilson who takes a checkered flag and the three points second place there goes to Rob <laughs> the Lee Smart I bet they wish it was Rob Watts third place there goes to Callum Walker at the back it is Rob Watts so it's three to the Warriors three to the Devils there's the scores on the doors so we move on then to heat number 11 Nathan Greaves rides in red so far Greaves is on five points James Seeley takes his own program ride here in blue busy land tonight in the white helmet going off the inside it is Steve Boxall two wins out of two for the Boxmeister and Richard Andrews got a paid win last time out the skipper is in the yellow helmet that's how they line up then for the 11th heat so here we go green lights about to come on and away they go oh box all look at the speed he's got as he hits a first turn right out to the safety fence in the dirt line Steve Boxall it is in front Greaves in second place third place it is Andrews at the back it is Seeley so the Devils on a heat advantage unless Nathan Greaves can do something pretty special in this one Boxall though he's looking smooth he's looking fast he's riding right up by the safety fence in the dirt no one's going to go round him it's going to take something special without the inside of him if he can get close enough to him around the first and second turn there's the distance you can see him boxel in front Greaves still chasing hard but he's not gaining any ground at all so boxel is going to make it three wins out of three unless Greaves can do something and it doesn't look like it's going to happen Andrews way back in third place now Greaves has made up some ground this time but it's too late because Boxall's going to take the flag and he takes his third win. So, Steve Boxall, 71.3 his winning time. Two points go to Nathan Greaves, one to Richard Andrews and it's the visitors from Devon who go back in front because the Warriors have 32 and the Devils have 34 so here we go then the riders coming on to the circuit for heat number 12 and James Cockle rides in red unfortunately and no Alex Spooner in blue his place replaced by young Jamie Seeley for the visitors in white it is Lee Smart and no surprise a reserve switch in yellow replacing Rob Parker it is the spectacular youngster Henry Atkins so Atkins already had two race wins he's going to come out here against uh, James Cockle and uh, I'm sure they feel that he can beat Jamie Seeley Lee Smart is the rider in the white helmet and away they go and into the first turn and it is Smart who's gone in front here Smart leading the way he's gone up to the dirt line 
in second place it is Cockerwin. Atkins is in third place so the Devils on a heat advantage here but Lee Smart who has done very little in his first three rides he's picked up just three points here and he's leading James Cockle who has only dropped one point so far Cockle chasing hard in second place Atkins in third place another super point for the youngster there Celia is at the back but this is where the race is Cockle's going after Smart here Smart knows he has got his ex-mate right on his tail teammates last year opposition this year and they're getting closer there Cockle almost found a way through but he's going to have to push very very hard but Smart is looking apart this time very inconsistent rider but when he's on form he's fast he's spectacular and he is going to win this one here third place there goes to Henry Atkins it is a win though for Lee Smart and I don't think many predicted that would happen but it has it is a 4-2 to the Devils for the second race in a row and with just three heats remaining the Isle of Wight have 34 points and the Plymouth Devils have 38 so we're getting ready for heat number 13 we've got just three races remaining and the Isle of Wight are going to have to do something very special if they are to get anything out of this meeting here. Let's have a look at the lineup then because this is the big guns. In red it is Ben Wilson. In blue, Nathan Greaves. In white, the unbeaten Steve Boxer with three wins out of three. And there is a swap in yellow. Replacing Benji Compton where we saw Benji come down. We understand he's got a knock to his knee. And he's been replaced by Rob Parker. So Parker will get an extra ride here in this one. Well, he was replaced last time out. And it's uh, him we're waiting for at the moment. The other three big hitters are there. Parker will go off the outside gate. So Greaves there on to gate number three. Boxer on gate number two. Ben Wilson on the inside gate, gate number one. There are some big name riders in this league. Wilson, Greaves and Boxall are three of them. And they all come together in this one here. And away they go. Oh, look at this. It's Wilson off the inside. He's got away there. And Greaves and Boxall having their own little battle. Boxall's got through in the second place. Greaves tries to swap back up the inside as they go into the bottom turn. Boxall and Greaves having a good battle for second place. And that has allowed Wilson to get away. Ben Wilson in front. Well, he was beaten by Boxall in heat number one. Is he going to extract Boxall's first defeat here in heat number 13? Boxall's got ideas of his own. He's shook off Nathan Greaves and he's going after the Warriors number one here. We come into turn number one. Wilson closes the door on Boxall and that's getting extremely close into the bottom turn. Wilson comes across the front of Boxer who decides to go up the bank in here try and make those straights that little bit longer that little bit faster but Wilson is having none of it here Boxall now going right out wide can he find a way around the outside he screws it on locks back but Wilson is going to hold him off here we go round the bottom turn and in his pen Wilson who is going to take the victory here super win there for Wilson second place goes to Boxall third place there goes to Nathan Greaves and it's a 4-2 to the Warriors and they are still very much in this match but they are still two points behind because the Warriors have 38 points and the Devils have 40 71 point for the winning time there for Ben Wilson as we get ready for the penultimate heat Riding in red, it is Chris Whitman. His partner in blue is Jamie Seeley. In white, it is Callum Walker. And in yellow, it is Henry Atkins. That's how they line up then for heat number 14. Now, every race here on the island is sponsored. The tapes are sponsored. The grandstand sponsored. The stadium is sponsored. Barry Bishop and his uh, partners have worked very, very hard here 
to make Speedway viable. We've got the training school here as well. My first skid. Worth a go if you want to have a go on a motorbike with no brakes. If not, just sit back and enjoy the action. Here we go. And away they go in the charge for the first turn. And it's Whitman who's got away there. Whitman makes a good start, but blasting through on the inside. It is Callum Walker. And where did he come from that time? Walker in front, Whitman in second place, third place, it is Henry Atkins and it is the Devils on a 4-2 and this will be enough to make sure they don't go home with a deficit to make up tomorrow Seely not that far behind, Atkins in third place but it is the man in front here, Callum Walker who is leading the way, this will take him up onto 9, paid 10 and well, he has been a trump card for the Devils. Still Whitman in second place. Third place at the moment. It is Henry Atkins, who has uh, really been a trump card as well down at reserve. So round the first and second turn, Callum Walker it is in front for the men from Darkest Devon, the Plymouth Devils. Goes round the bottom turn. Heads for the checkered flag. Over the line he goes for three points. Two points there go to Chris Whitman for the Warriors. And that important third place point goes to Henry Atkins, who scored in every one of his rides so far. Nine paid ten for the youngster. And it's the Warriors on 40. The Devils on 44. So look at the lineup though in red Ben Wilson. Wilson, the only man to lower the colours of Steve Boxall. In blue, Nathan Greaves. So far, Greavesy has picked up eight points. Callum Walker is on nine, paid ten so far. He is in white. He was the winner of the last race. And in yellow, it is Steve Boxall on the outside. He's dropped just one point. That was to Ben Wilson last time out. A 5-1 to the Warriors. The match tonight will end a draw. A shared heat or a 4-2 and it will be the Devils who will go home with the victory and a lead to defend on their own circuit tomorrow night. Which way is it going to go? Camera position here on turn number one for this final race. Chris Cass calling him into place here. So Wilson on gate number one. Boxall has taken the outside gate. Gate number four. He will head for that dirt line. Greaves on gate number three. He's got to do something special here as well. And Callum Walker been very very impressive for Plymouth who have so far picked up many many wins eight so far can they make it nine or can the Warriors lower their colours here charge for the first turn it is Wilson who's got the drop here Wilson in front Boxall in second place let's go down the box back straight there Boxall's going to try the outside run he's going right up the bank in on that bottom turn there and he's going to blast round the outside of Wilson. And he has done him a good one there. Boxall and he's in front. Wilson in second place. Third place at the moment in blue. It is Nathan Greaves. But if it stays like this, Steve Boxall, who has only dropped one point all night, is going to make sure that the Plymouth Devils get a win here on the Isle of Wight. The dust is flying around here. Still in second place in red, it is Ben Wilson. And it looks like we've got a problem here because we have lost the rider in yellow and he's back on the centre there. That is in white rather, Callum Wilson who was the faller. Wait for the referee's decision. And uh, well, the message coming to us is that the race has been awarded. 3-3, three, three. there's the final scores, 43-47 to the visitors. Steve Boxall, there we are, finishing on 14 points. Richard Andrews, 4-1, and one. Lee Smart, 6, Callum Walker, 9-1. and one. 
Benji Compton four, Rob Parker one, Henry Atkins nine, and a bonus water performance from the youngster. For the Warriors, Ben Wilson 13, Ryan in place of Tyler Gerbia, James Cockle seven and two, Nathan Greaves nine and one.